very different. And also, another thing, why we say Rupa Nuga? Rupa Nuga means following Rupa Goswami or Rupa Manjari. So how to follow this? This is, we, we, try, we should follow their mood, their feeling, their verb. So through the book, or someone who knows, realize this book, if we could hear from that Rashika Vaishnava, that feeling also infused to us. Then our, say, our qualification or our spiritual body uh, slowly, slowly uh, kind of uh, manifest. And we, we have some qualification to become a follower of uh, Rupa Ragnata, all these uh, manjaris through the mercy of our Guru Manjari. And so that's, I, I feel like this. I just want to add that I remember this in Hidden Path of Devotion, Srila Narayan Maharaj is explaining or speaking to this uh, Prabhupada disciple who tried to to understand something about Raga Bhakti from him, to go deeper. And he mentions also that Krishna Kavidaj Goswami in his Chaitanya Chaitamrita, he did not he did not tell who were his gurus before he met Rupa Raghunath. But all the prayers that he does after each chapter is to them. So he says that why is that? Because his essential mood to be in the Dasi bath, to be in the Manjari bath, to understand what is the service, what is the practice, what is the feeling he got from them. So when we see our situation today also, we often speak about it on our tour. It's very difficult for us who are living in the West to find a teacher who is giving us this nourishment, who is opening their hearts to such an extent that they, they become even criticized, they become, you know, vulnerable. Because as we know, when we open our hearts, we become easily vulnerable because others will maybe say something which is not so positive. So we always discuss this, or we, we cherish this uh, openness and this generosity of our Guru Manjari, of our Gurudev, who is showing you know, us even to that extent that he is you know, risking so many people who say, oh, what are they doing? Is this really Manjari Bhav? Is this really bona fide? They are speaking about Shimati Radhika's breast. Is this really right? You know, because most of us, I mean, I also count myself, I often uh, not so pure hearted, but because we are like a small group and we, we just stick together through the good and the bad times, I feel that there's a big mercy in this, that Gurudev is openly revealing his deepest, deepest heart feelings and unlimitedly. Unlimitedly. I feel it's unlimited. Unlimited, just like Srimati Radhika is unlimited in her love to Moha. And that feeling is so giving so much hope and so much strength that this is very precious thing. And Try to find somebody. Most of them are speaking Bengali. No? We were always talking. You know, those Rasika Vaishnavas, maybe Bengali 
uh, from uh, other, you know, other language. They don't speak, they are hiding. But we are so lucky that somebody like Gurudev is coming to us, opening the heart and, you know, showing the deepest feelings, even in, in a, such a vulnerable environment <laughs> where many they cannot handle this kind of teachings. So we, we are lucky that he is opening this to us. And not only this, he is opening also by discussing all this. He is opening to us or to me, I can only speak for myself, the heart of uh, Srila Anantandas Babaji Maharaj. I never, if I read this book alone, I can never uh, feel what I'm feeling now. This gratitude and this amazement and this purification. So we are lucky that they are opening the hearts and that especially our Guru Manjari is opening her heart and opening my heart in the same way. Yes. Tulasi must serve Swamini while she suffers separation from her Priyatan. Tulasi must serve Swamini while she suffers separation from her Priyata. Simply on seeing the blackish blouse, Srimati becomes startled by the remembrance of Krishna. But Tulasi consoles her by making her relish the Shyamara, the spiritual flavor of Krishna. Oh, Sundari, she says, a bluish country bodies would look splendid on a golden bosom. But I did not desire to cover these breasts. I just wanted to create a wonderful beauty at that time. Tulasi is not at all shy to call Swamini Sundari. Radhe Radhe, maybe somebody can explain what that means? She is not shy to call her Sundari. Chana Please explain you. <laughs> But you have something yeah, yeah. you are tricky. <laughs> you're very, you're very <laughs> I'm just learning. I want to learn. I want to listen. Where she calls her Sundari. In this situation, she sees Radhika, Radhika completely naked. And she sees her beautiful Mahabhava Swarupini body, which is very eager to satisfy the Mohan. I will not go into details, but I will say something which Gurudev told to me. If you want to meditate on Radhika, and you have to do it, 
that she's in this situation without clothes. You have to be without clothes. So this is the deep meaning behind this. We have to be without any other coverings. And at the same time, we have to have a wish covering. With our small breasts. Through the guidance of our Guru Manjari. Then the path, hidden path, narrow path, will be secure part. Radhira. Sundara. Goranga Sundara is talking about Sundari. <laughs> all shy to call Swamini Sundari. Does it make It's frozen. But maybe we can go a little bit into that, what you said, what you just started. Uh, we have to be naked. This is also a very deep meaning. This also means that we have to stand before Swamini like we are. We may be not proud. We are what we are. We don't have to hide anything. Whatever qualities we may have, good or bad, it's not our. We are just covered with material things, usually coming from our past life. And uh, maybe good, maybe bad. It's not ours, actually. We have to to really leave that all behind us and be completely naked. Like, I will start a new life now with Swamini. Forget about the old. I give everything in the hand of Swamini and Gurudev, Guru Manjari, that they will guide me. Completely naked is a very deep meaning. Also means strip off the whole material things. You may think you're intelligent or you may think I'm not intelligent. You may think I'm beauty or not beauty. You may think so many things, but forget about all this. You are the servant of Swamini. This is the real ego. Means strip off the false ego means to accept the real ego. This is naked. I'm standing here in front of you. I'm your Dasi. I'm not qualified. I'm deeply fallen, but please take me like I am. And Gurudev gives such wonderful explanation because he's telling us if the child has urine, you know, is completely dirty, body. Does the mother reject the child ever? No. She will take us as we are. 
clean, dirty, whatever, wherever we stand. And this is also in the breasts of Swamini, actually. The love for every individual soul, for every Darcy. So maybe someone wants to add on that or share something. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> So it became too high. The connection was, the Good. internet connection was burned. Too much to take a step. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Before, uh, blessed is this, this two lines before. Before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Tulasi is not at all shy to call Swamini Sundari. Does a, does a maid servant speak like that? The service is situated in sweetness. By chattering in this way, Tulasi fills Swamini's mind with memories of her past sports with her Priyatam. During each service, which belonged to the Madhurya Rasa category, what is this? Each, during each service, that belongs to the Madhurya Rasa category. She gives Sundari the relish of Sri Krishna Ras. Blessed is this maidservant. Blessed is her service. This is so wonderful description. What is the seva of a manjari or a kinkari? It's so wonderful. If we meditate on that, yes, this service is blessed. And whoever can do that is also blessed in the most highest form which is possible. If you meditate on that, what kind of service Tulsi is doing here? Swamini is missing always her beloved, and she is making such extraordinary services to keep her in a mood of remembrance, and she feels like Sham is with her. She feels when Tulasi is putting on this bodice, she doesn't feel that Tulsi is doing the seva. Swamini feels like, yes, my beloved is here and he is directly on my breast. This is the seva of Tulsi. She is always giving rati. And that's why we should take shelter at the feet of this Rati Manjari to always get a drop. We need some drops of this Rati. That the fire in the heart is also 
starting to burn and we desire to also come in this seva again. This is real life. What we are doing here is not real life. It's dead. Without juice, without taste. There is the real life. I can say something about this point. Why Tulasi is so expert in her service, delicate service? Because she knows the heart and mind of Radhika. She is serving according to Radhika's desire. She knows very well Radhika's desires in each second. And in that way, she's expert in service because she knows what Radhika needs in each moment. So this putting the blouse on Radhika's golden body is something which Tulasi also felt that Radhika wants that. She wants to be dressed with this blau, blue bodies and later on then her lover just stretch out this. So to know how to expertly serve, we have to know the desire of our beloved Ishtadev. And to know desire or the heart of our beloved Ishtadev, we have to approach and follow those who already are on that level, who are very close and who, are, who know what is desire in the Radhika's heart. And this is not easy. It's not a lago. It's very natural, <laughs> very natural, without coverings. But it is only possible to learn from those who are already immersed in these feelings, that they know Radhika's feelings. That's what I wanted to say. So it's very delicate, very delicate service. Excuse me. And it's not that everyone can do it. <laughs> Gopis, Sakis cannot do it so perfectly. This is the difference between Manjar Bhava and Sakiba. They are not allowed even to speak with Radhika in such an intimate, hidden way, because they are not allowed to be in Nivriti Kunj. So maybe now is good time that Gurudev shares something after hiding so long. Damn. <laughs> Is she one thing? My best mama is the nature of baby. Best. 
my sweetest mama, my beautiful mama. <laughs> this is the nature of baby. <clears throat> Only to see my mama is the best mama. And mama feel my baby need some food. You know, mama open the breast. Mama only feel the feeling of mama can understand that milk is coming from my breast. My baby needs this. And first she oh, herself opened the breast to feed the baby. This is the mercy of Mama, so beautiful. My Mama is so sweet. My Mama is so kind. Best Mama, beautiful Mama, that she knows when I feel hungry and how she is ready to feed me. Sundari, means beautiful, Sundari means you feel you are the best that you can feel my hungerness. You can feed us and what Krishna cannot do that is Krishna. But for you, for me, you open yourself, your breast and put the nipple in my, my, my mouth and I am in ecstasy to receive your spiritual kindness and divine feelings through the milk. I received that. <laughs> At least one drop we got. Also during the stage of sadhana, there must be relish according to one's own rasa at the time of meditation. This relish, according to one's relationship with the deity, awakens while identifying oneself with one's maru. Uh, Jai Shri Rade. Sorry, but this is such an important point. Maybe we can share a little bit on that because it's amazing important because there has to be a relationship. Otherwise, it cannot start. So we have to be in relation, active. Relation is not that. Because I know from my own experience, in the Western world, we try to be uh, emotionless. 
or we avoid to have relations because they are very um, taking time and energy and it can be also bad like that. So we avoid usually, at least in my case, it was very often like that. So we have to be active in relation. We have to really start to talk with our Swamini. We have to really say, yes, I want a relation with you. Please step to me in my direction because I'm helpless. I'm like a little baby and I don't know where to go, what to do. So we have to start some kind of relation, take shelter. It's a very important point. In our daily doing, that, that we, that we connect our daily, daily doing, for example, we have some mothers here, and uh, there is so much love in between mother, father and baby, and so that we don't see a part what we're doing in this world, and another thing is what is our spiritual doing. We are able to connect this, what you say, Guravani, this daily doing to our service, to our meditation, to Swamini. Then we come, we are again connected with our true self. And uh, then it is become 24 7. We are not, was heißt getrennt, divorced? Separated. Separated in any. We are always online like this. Everything, maybe it's only a meditation in the beginning. Maybe it's not. Um, what size this? Um, perfect. Maybe it's not perfect. Uh, what I can feel as more we go inside as more it becomes normal this daily doing it is not perfect in this world but this is what gurudev always say so and even mothers don't care that the baby is making uh, what he say pipi and kaka they <laughs> mother is cleaning and nobody feels guilty no, no. Love is there and connection is there always. And this is our situation also. Our daily doing to this state of service, then it becomes really our, our spiritual uh, reality. My God. Something happened. <laughs> Gopinath's parents arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so slowly the group, the group becomes bigger and bigger. Rade, rade. <laughs> <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Oh, hello. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. 
Oh, oh, good good day, day. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. Maria, Maria. Wow. <laughs> So, and what I can also feel that as more sisters are surrounded us, as more normal our behave comes. Now, if there is nobody in, in the same mood, then you feel separated and maybe it's it's wrong, some kind of wrong or you have to check. But as more devotees are in the same mood, this becomes a, a great power. And on our tour, we can feel this very, very uh, intense. No? So yes. 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 Then, uh, it's very intense that we are the full time somehow online in in our <laughs> internal external and always connected to our swamini and to gurudev and to our sisters so that becomes really very powerful so and you this can imagine day, think, you can imagine friend can do this yeah Impossible. Friend cannot get this chance. Never. Never. <laughs> Friend can see, not in cover breast. Only oh. the baby can see the in cover breast of mama. Because she in cover herself. Mama not. I say one story of Gopinath. And Gopika, Radhika was small baby, a small baby. And I was in Italy, in no, in the Sanatani place. Tani. 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 And there, we have to walk some car parking and we have to walk. So, Gopika is carrying this baby. And when Gopinath wants to take, she starts crying. I was surprised, really, because I forget the bhav of the child. She don't want to go in the lap of his father. She starts crying. <laughs> then Gopina says, okay, 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 okay. You take back Gopika. Because and it was Gopika has so much heavy. She grown up little, but eight, nine months. So she has to carry and walk with the baby. Why crying? My papa can has the right to keep the baby. But mother is so sundari, so beautiful, the best mama. I don't want to leave her because my food is with her. My spiritual uh. coat will be only with her. So Majri never think about. Mm-hmm. Papa. Mm-hmm. Manjiri never think about Papa, only think about Mama. Mm-hmm. Manjiri, wow. <coughs> this is the gift. My Yananda Maharaj always say, Unnat Ujjwal. What is Unnat Ujjwal? This is Unnat. And Ujjwal, that Mama open her breast. for the baby and say, no, no, why you will cry? It's here and I will open for you. That is 
Radhika's Kripa, and this is the Kripa of the Majiris, who is small baby. And cover her, uncover, mother, mother uncover herself for in love. It's not possible for Krishna. What Manjari can get the mercy? Krishna has to uncover. But Mama uncover herself only for the Manjari's, only for the babies. Radhe, Radhe. Thank Radhe. you. Radhe. So she is my best, my beautiful Mama. Her breast is beautiful, her mercy is beautiful, her care is beautiful. There is no beautiful than my mama. Yeah, thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe. That meditation is Manjari Bhav. That meditation is Manjari Bhav. This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Rupa Raghunath Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Kuvadev. Yes. Kuvadev, so nice to hear you. Thank you for your words. My dear, I love you so much. <laughs> My intent is not good, but oh. we are something that I don't know, hot spot, and I was <laughs> all of you. I'm so oh. fortunate to listen about the Mahajari. I can feel you, you can feel you, Gurudev, through Chayananda and everybody who is here, and uh, Gaurasundar and Gauravani. And Gauranga Sundar. Yes, Gauranga Sundar, yes. And Gauravani and my Gaura Sundara. All, all of them. Suniti. Suniti. <laughs> my Jananda. <laughs> can you see us, Gurudev? Uh, I can see you. Can you see our video? Yes. So yeah. I also want to introduce you somebody, um, some uh, Indian devotees, they came here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you open my page? They, they want to say hello to you. You see, their Indian family, they came for a, a program today. Radhe, Radhe. Kaise ho bhai? Kitna achha lag raha hai aap log ko mil ke. Hame bhi aap ko mil raha hai achha lag raha hai. Kya basal iras hai? Kya maa ka pyaar hai? क्या माँ की कृपा होती है हर बच्चे को माँ बहुत प्यारी होती है राइट माइटी है कोई भी बेबी अपने माँ को जितना प्यार करता है और देश जानता है कोई नहीं जानता है तो बड़े भाग्यवान हैं वो बच्चे जो माँ को प्यार देते हैं और सम्मान देते हैं यही संसार my dear. Thank you for listening and your kindness. Thank you. Sri Radhe, any question? Ho, ham se pucho, ham batayenge tumko. Radhe, amko khushi hai, beta. Aap log aaye ho. अपना बहुत बड़ा सत्संग होता है संग है आध्यात्म की बात यही गुरुवाणी है यही श्रीय जीवन का सार है जो आत्म अपने आत्मा को में रह के उस रस की प्राप्ति करना चाहता है उसका बड़ा सौभाग्य है इसी को गुरुवाणी कहते हैं और सार तत्व यह है कि संसार में तो शरीर मेरा है तो रहना होगा 
मगर अपने भाव में अपने प्यार में कमी ना होना चाहिए राधे राधे तो वो बच्ची महान है वो माँ महान है जो एक दूसरे को प्यार देते हैं उनके प्यार को समझने की कोशिश करो यही स्पिरिचुअल भाव कहते हैं जिसको मंजिली भाव कहते हैं बेटा राधे राधे